Good morning guys! Happy vaccination day! So today, yes, we're still here at the Southwestern University FINMA vaccination site in Asnar Coliseum here. Oh, not really in Asnar. <laughs> the building beside here, but yeah, it's two days before October and it's a new month. Uh, it's like bilang lang ka days before Christmas. Eight days before Christmas, and we are here right now. And yes, Southwestern University, Finma. But you know, today we're gonna go via Rama. So, currently, one of the you know, one of the transportation main form of transportation for the public is like the the e i the the mini bus. Oh, that's a 01k route it goes to Park Mall or Helio and yeah City Health SM so it's a good route <laughs> it's one of the money making routes I guess it's, or Helio or Sambag Uno has a lot of you know people living here as well and today since it's almost October, we're gonna talk about you know politics again because it's almost gonna. Uh, we will we will now know who will be running very soon, very soon. Although there are so many people who already declared that they're running, and so many exciting races to to watch out for but we won't really um, I mean uh, we won't really know until you know the final line ups are made imagine last you know six years ago President Duterte said he wasn't running then in the end he he ran and won <laughs> it was also one Somehow it was really a success. His campaign was a success. And then no matter what you say, Bana, you can say bad things about the administration, all the one, but they really run one of the best campaigns six years ago. I mean, they didn't have a machinery. Um, President Duterte didn't even have, you know, single mayor I think or see si, along mayor but you didn't have governors mayor she didn't have a support I mean <laughs> very few very few <laughs> although he built up momentum momentum and then eventually he really steamrolled the opposition so yeah garnering a good you know good lead over the next highest um, vote getter but you know so in these elections, it's the same thing. We can't, we can't, you know, underestimate anyone. If there are surveys right now who's leading, who's not, because in the end, it's how you run your campaign. I mean, how you build alliances, campaign, or like how you made your ads your social media campaign <laughs> so it's a one sad it's a it's the job of your you know, campaign people and of course sometimes it also it's also good to have a candidate that you know can can really deliver you know some good messages and yeah I would say the last time Rodrigo Duterte, oh, the president, was really different. He was able to find a way to stand out by by delivering a tough message. I will kill. I will kill oh, my drug drug lords, drug addicts. You know, he he clearly draw the line. He clearly. He clearly, you know, um, 
identify this enemy which is drugs and drugs drugs did not Drugs lang yun ang iyang kontra. And he said, anybody who was involved in drugs, with drugs, will get killed. And apparently that message, you know, was well liked. <laughs> uh, well liked by P Pinoy's. Diba? So it's it's a guan. It was a it contributed to his win, and that's the same thing. That should be a lesson learned for you know people running campaign. That you have to clearly define your enemy and be able to stand out. It's nice to be diplomatic. It's nice to be kind. Yeah, it's nice to be that, but. In the end, you'll probably end up mediocre. You could be, you know, you could sound stale. You can sound bland. Diba? The 30 was spicy. <laughs> so when everyone was bland, the 30 was spicy. And yeah, probably being bland would be good if everyone is hot and spicy also. So be able to be able to really stand out to differentiate yourself from from others and then I think yeah candidates should learn from that um, to be able to to make a good impression among Filipinos especially the youth I guess because some of the older people I mean the older people have their own loyalties already they have like their rare families have been voting let's say liberal for 50 years <laughs> it's like that some are nationalista quote unquote for like that some have loyalties already especially the old timers the older generation when they're so loyal to their parties and to their personalities like there are people na maka osmenia me maka blah 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 maka rama me maka kwan but the new ones the new especially the new voters Especially now, there can be a kind of new voters. Ah, there are so many. The, the registration has been erupting. So there are so many people who are going to vote. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not really one. It's real people. I mean, it's, this is not a manipulation. But it's a one. There are so many people now who are interested to, to vote. And indeed, the 2022 election... Elections would be interesting and it would matter to the futures of the country. Yeah, especially the young ones now. The, the voice of the youth is like very important. But the, the funny thing also about the youth is they're, they're the ones who probably get influenced with, with propaganda also. So they're not, uh, while some have bias already, the youth sometimes are not as discerning as the um yeah um the, the old timers because the old timers probably know the tricks already that they've been victimized by the countless of promises of politicians the promise of this and that and it never happened so probably yes um so Mona, if the this youth so the youth will be more of the Kwan but the, they would be easily be dragged uh, by the bandwagon so so that's and that's the key there if you're gonna find a youth vote find a messaging that would would really would really convince them I would say and to ride on you I mean to ride if you can ride the vote of uh, the, the the strength of the youth, the numbers of the youth, then you would probably go and win. Because, you know, the millennials and the Gen X now make up around 57% of the population. I think 50 plus, over 50% of the voting population. So if you can... 
find ways to activate them and to to bring them to your side that's a kuan and probably that could be an advantage to you know more popular younger candidates like let's say Manny Pacquiao the young ones grew up you know seeing the exploits of Manny Pacquiao for example of course also the Duterte the Duterte family now they they're more inclined to support that kind of um, someone with so a strong social media game. Yeah, Duterte has a diehard, diehard social media um, um, support. I mean, they call it themselves DDS, but yes, they are. They're active and they're creating, you know, noise. Oh, by the way, we're here right now here in Virama. So, Guadalupe. This is Guadalupe, by the way. So. <laughs> so, we're just going to go towards the Guadalupe Church. Here. But, yes. That's the key now. How can you activate the youth and woo the youth towards your side and probably you're gonna win because old timers have their own biases and you know it would be it would be god sometimes hard to convince them to change their minds and now yeah since we're we want you want to target the youth your campaign should also be tailored towards the younger ones maybe yes maybe more fun maybe you tap you know the younger voices also who can somehow you know sway them you know involve fun in your campaign uh, be younger I would say you could probably have presence in TikTok <laughs> uh, yeah have presence in in platforms that where the youth um, are, are you know are watching YouTube, TikTok would say would say be would be different. Yeah, you could really. I mean, I don't know if you can create some amazing TikTok campaign that will na patok na patok sa mga kabataan. And I think you would also get you know, somehow you get points, you get votes. You might be mocked, but hey. Yeah, and it's the votes that counts. <laughs> Mockery. Uh, if if ye, you're sensitive to mockery, then I prob probably you shouldn't be a politician, right? <laughs> so, so Mona, you have to. Uh, um, it would be gonna be. It's gonna be fun. Um, so you have to consider those things in your campaign. If you don't want, um, if you if you stick to the old like posters, people don't even go out now. You're gonna put posters on the walls. Yeah, all the nice ng yapon ng visibility, but yeah. Uh, but still, you're just gonna you know dirty the walls. And suddenly you realize how come nobody's voting for me. These people, the faces of many people are on their cell phones. And you're going to be on the cell phones of people. <laughs> yeah, diba? you got to be in the cell phones of people. Because if, <laughs> and especially here in the Philippines, mobile phone usage is quite high. Especially among the young ones. Huh? Yeah, I think ako gani, eh, I mean, yeah, even I'm an old, old one. I, uh, right now, I mean, a lot of my work, my my dealings are, are online. Diba? Even, let's say, mga tagiyag small stalls, I mean, they have to, they have online presence already. So, mana, one key lang yun is to never ignore the youth and 
Yeah, just always remember, never ignore the youth. And let's go on. Let's keep on. Um, yeah, adjust your campaigns. And then in the end, yes. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Bitaw. It's going to be a fun, fun campaign. I'm going to expect a lot of interesting stuff to talk about and write about soon. So... Thank you so much for watching this um, drive. We went from Southwestern University to Virama Avenue here in Guadalupe to see how Guadalupe looks like in the morning. And this is, yeah, Guadalupe has awakened already and a lot of people are on the streets. People are busy, so that's nice. <laughs> so... Thank you so much for watching and listening. And if you have anything to, and if you have any comments, let me know. If you want to talk about something the next time we have a drive, let me know and shout out to my followers, by the way, from all over the world. Yeah, especially my new ones. Hello, atong ibingaw sa Cebu. If you have any places that you want me to check out, let me know para. Para atong ma check out. And I hope to see you in the sunod ng mga videos. And you know, thank you so much for all your support. Bye bye bye!